Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Previously, we had, uh, let me see, we had gone through, we had finished going through the usage guide for the 3DS eShop. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go through the menu here. All these options. There's quite a few here. Some I can't show simply because I don't have the means to do so. And some of them I will have to show you a recording that I made in the past that I'm just going to edit into the video. So what we're going to be doing first is, well, here, back to main menu. Oh, yeah, and it just reloads, refresh, reloads the homepage. But menu, close, you can close it at the bottom. But redeem download code. We're going to go through these one by one. Redeem download code. Oh, wait. Um... When you open the menu, on the top screen it shows, it says menu, it shows your balance. 893 is in my account, tiles on wishlist. Four, some of them are because it's, that's what I'm going to be buying, some it's, I'm just going to be showing stuff, you know, things like that. Yeah, that's basically it, downloading or showing things. Redeem download code. I really like this song. It's very calming. Right under here we have also the same menu. The same options, I think close. We can enter a download code. I don't have one, sadly, so I can't type one in. Um, but it, but the usage guide did explain download codes, and I, I think it showed what you get when you type one in and stuff like that. Or at least it, should, it had it in the text. But we can scan a QR code as well. So see there's, see there's the stylus right there. You can also scan a QR code, but I d also don't have one. So it's searching for one. It says to please align the QR code so that it lies within the frame. And the 3DS has two cameras on the front. The 2DS, I think, only has one. Actually, the 2DS only has one right there. And then somehow you put it on the outside. You can put on the outside or something I don't I don't know but yeah it, you can do something like that I'm not sure on the 2ds XL anyway and then we're just gonna cancel because I have nothing here back in the menu search and then we have enter filters to refine your search you cannot search for videos so we've got platform, all software. I'm sorry if I'm having trouble with this. I'm just very tired. So we've got platform, all software, genre, all, publisher, all, price free to any. So we've got options here. Platform, all software, genre, all, publisher, all, price free to any. And then you can reset the price and then reset the filters and then apply filters. So if we just do nothing, it will just have this here here at oops and here at the beginning it shows you your search results 1701 and then for the sort conditions it's software latest and you can actually sort by latest which will show the same thing popularity Oh, apparently the most popular software, piece of software, is Smash 3DS. Wait, what's this? Oh, Street Pass. There's a Street Pass Me Plaza update? When did this come out? 2016? How do I not have the update for it?
Oops. No. Cancel. This is weird. Oh, if you can't perform it from Street Pass Me Plaza, you can download the update here. So very important. Download this before the eShop closes. I didn't even know that this existed. That's kind of a problem. Street Pass Me Plaza is getting a makeover to make it even more fun and exciting. If you cannot perform the update from Street Pass Me Plaza, then you can download the update data here. And then Street Pass Me Plaza update version 5.0. Publisher Nintendo, genre, update, languages, English, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. Oh wait, is there more? Oh, important information. This is update data for Street Pass Me Plaza for Nintendo 3DS. No icon will be displayed in the Nintendo 3DS system's home menu after downloading this data. This data will be listed in the Nintendo 3DS extra data under data management and system settings. Please do not delete it. Rating information, everyone. E. Mild cartoon violence. And then related genres updates. To re-download the screen, then you can add it to wish list. Add it to wish list. There we go. This is the same menu. Oh, it still shows four items on the wish list. Let's just go back. And then five now. Five items on the wish list. And then Pokemon X. Nintendo Video. That was the thing. Oh yeah, I guess it was. The software is currently unavailable. Huh. Nintendo Video. Nintendo 3DS download only. July 21st, 2011. Nintendo Video brings you short 2D and 3D videos from the worlds of comedy, animation, music, and Hollywood. It's, it is, it's unique. It is unique and one-of-a-kind entertainment, handpicked especially for Nintendo 3DS. I wonder if it has works for the 3D. You can find Nintendo Video on the main home of Nintendo eShop, or just enter a search for your favorite shows, like Dinosaur Office, Meet or Die, and Shaun the Sheep. They're all there, along with many others. More videos will be added to the lineup occasionally, so check back often. Go ahead, watch what you like, anytime you like. And then there's some screenshots here. And then and then just this there. Uh, Nintendo Video, publisher Nintendo, genre, 3D video service. So it does work with 3D, that's nice. Ratings, here's ratings that various users have given it. What type of person is it suited for? Everyone or gamers? 85% chose everyone, 15% chose gamers. What type of game is it? Casual play or intense play? 81% chose casual play, and 19% chose intense play. Relay genres are video and other. Copyright 2011 Nintendo. We can't go to download. Download the screen. And then there's Pokemon Bank. Available now. In, available now in Nintendo eShop. And updates. Updates seem to be the most popular uh, game. Well, okay, here's other games. Here's an actual game. Um, but updates, even though it's, uh, even though it's, it begins as a free-to-play thing, but then you have to pay for it eventually. But yeah, updates just seem to be the most popular. Here's Pokemon Sun and Moon, Swap Note. Swap Note wasn't... I thought that was on the 3DS properly. I mean, to redownload the screen. Did I de delete it? I don't know. Swap notes. Swap note lets you create handwritten. Um, swap note uh, four stars. Two hundred five thousand thirteen reviews. Nintendo 3DS download only. Release date December twenty second, twenty eleven. Swap note lets you create handwritten notes and then. 
share those notes with other swap note users on your friend list via the street pass feature. As your note, I think they changed that in actually no no sending it just sending it to people yeah no they delete they removed that feature because of problems that they were having where people would send things that were a problem um to other swap note users on your friend list via the street pass feature as your note collection grows and you spend play coins you can earn play coins by closing the 3DS and then using it as a, a step counter and then every 100 steps you take you get one play coin or you can also shake the 3DS you can or you can also shake the 3DS like this like this like that and then you can get play coins that way too. You'll unlock new features and be able to personalize messages even further by changing stationary patterns, atta attaching photos and sound recordings, writing and drawing in 3D, oh I didn't even know it could do that, and more. You'll even be able to surprise your friends with secret notes that they can only open on a certain date. So like their birthday for example. An update for the swap note application is available. After you perform the update, you can attach a photo and or audio recording when you reply to a note, undo or redo your last pen stroke, I'm surprised they didn't have that by default, use a different pen color on each page of a note, filter your notes to only see those created by a specific user or those marked as favorites, delete multiple notes at once, take photos and record audio from within the application, enjoy faster load times. Oh, that's the best part. Please note, this update won't affect your save data. If you downloaded SwapNote on April 11, 2013 or later, you don't need to download this update. Oop. Check out the theme inspired by this game in the theme shop, the 3DS theme shop. Just tap the icon in the upper left corner of your Nintendo 3DS home menu to get started. So we've got some screenshots. Party at my place tomorrow. And it's in the bottom screen says has send wait this looks interestingly this has th uh, Wii U style graphics for the the favorite button and the I don't know what that is button but like these really remind me of the Wii U UI and then there's a bear on the top screen of this one, there's a bear going, like, grimacing with its paw out. With, like, sparks or something around its paw or something. I don't know. And then there's me going, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I can't really describe that. And then the third one is, I got a new dog with a drawing that actually looks a lot like uh, Blue from Blue's Clues. Just outline in outlined in black uh, black pen and they were all on December 22nd 2011 Thursday and then at the bottom it says um, swap note publisher swap note trademark TM trademark uh, publisher in superscript publisher Nintendo genre communication Languages English, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. Oh, there's more to it. Import important information. You may need an additional compatible SD card or SDHC card with available space to download this software. Visit support.nintendo.com for information about storage options. Sold separately. Please note that the Spot Pass feature of Swap, swap Note, the ability to send notes to friends over the internet, has been stopped as of October 31st, 2013. We greatly appreciate your understanding. Compatible features and accessories, me characters. This game displays 3D visuals and supports Street Pass, but not anymore. Wait. Oh, via Spot Pass. It does support Street Pass. Okay. I just got confused. So there's the ratings. And then what type of person is it suited for? 84% everyone. What type of game is it? 81% casual. 
related genres, communication, and other related keywords. Swap note Nintendo and Nintendo. 20, copyright 2011 Nintendo. So there's many more, many more in here. Mario Kart 7 Update 1.2, Pokemon Fit Cross, Pokemon Shuffle, Nintendo Badge Arcade, Animal Crossing New Leaf Update. You kind of get the idea. It's updates. But then, as we go um, toward the end, Pokemon Art Steel Diver Sub Wars, Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Badge Arcade Update, Iron Fall Invasion. We can go to page two. And then as you can see right here, it says go to page one. We can do that. I'll do that. And then it goes to the beginning. So we have to go all the way back through. And it kind of bumps up. It bumps the thing up when you... Do that. And then we've got more updates. And there's Stretch Mo, Monster Hunter 4 update. And that's a game. Triforce Heroes, you know. You kind of get the idea. And there's the Mario Maker 3DS. Mario Kart 7. $30, which is nice. Uh, and then we can actually sort for also for user rating. All the sorting things. Oh, apparently Cosmo Ball 3D is the highest rated one. Maybe because it has one rating. If you touch... Oh. You can drag anywhere on here. Interesting. Why is this five stars? I'm afraid. Five stars with one review. October 6, 2022. Cruise through space in this beginner f only for new 3DS. Cruise, so I can't buy this. Cruise through space in this beginner friendly A to B platformer. Take your time, enjoy the music, and hone your skills as you as you toy with the physics of the Cosmo Ball. Complete or compete with your friends and family to see who can make the fastest route. Here's screenshots. I'm going to let it go away. The UI. There we go. Here's that screenshot. Here's another one. There we go. It's all three of them. And then Desk Inc. Publisher. Cosmo Ball 3D Publisher Desk Inc. Players, one player, one. Genre, platformer. Languages, English. Oh, there's more to it. Important information. Oh, you may need to upgrade your upgrade your current SD card to a compatible SCHC card or micro SCHC card with enough available space to support the software. Visit support.nintendo.com for more for information about storage options. Sold separately. Compatible features and accessories. Displays 3D visuals. Oh, that's nice to know that it has support for 3D. Even though it's like one of the last released 3DS games. Website's Desk Inc. And I assume if you push that, you go to the website. Rating information, rate E. There is literally one review, one rating at five stars, and it's for everyone, and it's casual. It's unanimous. All one reviewers say it's for everyone in casual play. Really, genres, platformer, copyright 2022, Desk Inc. LLC. So there we go. And then... Breaks pinball six, four, three. There's just shovelware. Oh, here there's just shovelware basically. But here's um the Zelda Ballad of the Goddess. See the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword main theme. It's not available. Main theme performed by full orchestra in 3D asterisk. This and other songs were included on a CD packed with the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on the Wii console. Uh, 
released in December of 2011. This video is also available via the Nintendo Video application in 2011. Here's screenshots showing what showing what this application looked like. So we've got the orchestra performing it, and then the bottom of the screen says Ballad of the Goddess from The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and there's like a space theme to it with like a cloud and purple behind, like stretching from the left to the right with like stars. The entire thing has stars in it, but from left to the right toward the upper middle third-ish, somewhere in there, behind the text it has that, and then it has the Zelda font. And then there's another screenshot, and then there's another screenshot with the orchestra playing. And then the same thing on the bottom screen, and then someone else playing a string instrument, I think, on the top. Yeah, same thing on the bottom. Legend of Zelda, Valley of the Goddess, Publisher Nintendo, Players 1 Player, Genre Video, Language is English. Yeah, you might need to download it. Use an SD card, displays 3D visuals. Pretty much everyone rated it either five, four or five stars. 32 ratings. Come on. Uh, it's suited mostly for everyone. 75%. What type of game is it? 87%. Oops. Relay genres, video. Relay keywords, legend, Zelda, Skyward, Sword, Nintendo, and music. Copyright 2011 Nintendo. There you go. Oh, and here's... Um, Pokemon Blue for the Game Boy. And, yeah, I guess we can go back to actually show various other things that you can do with Search. So instead of this, you can, instead of, all, instead of just all software, you can pick downloadable games from downloadable games, videos, and applications. You can choose all downloadable software, downloadable games, virtual console, all Nintendo DSiWare. And then, when you choose that, you'll see all of the Nintendo DSiWare games. See? 17 pages, 413 games. And then, if you remember from my DSi Shop series, some of these might have shown up. I wonder. Probably. Sort by. You can sort by popularity in here. And then, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Maze March Again is at the very top, which does not surprise me. And you can actually still buy DSiWare games, which is from the 3DS eShop, which is nice. This is really good for being DSiWare. I recommend it. I, I showed this on the DSi Shop series, but... Um, I don't know about the screenshots, but there's definitely screenshots in here. And then you can also push the d-pad buttons the d-pad buttons too and then you've got them in here yep. and then there's another screenshot oh and if you go too far past it just loops around like a pivot from Windows Phone Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini vs. March Again Nintendo One Player Puzzle um, includes content from Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2, March of the Minis, previously released for the DS. Um, online features aren't available anymore as of May 20th, 2014. Comic Mischief. Oh, yeah, there's pretty good ratings. Mostly everyone, casual 72% everyone, casual play 70%, action puzzle. Related genres, related keywords, Mario, Donkey Kong, staff pick, top rated, that's it. And then copyright 2006 through 2009 Nintendo, developed by Nintendo Software Technology Corporation. It's a really good game, I have it on DS. Highly recommended. Then we've got Photo Dojo, which is DSiWare. I thought that was, I had a, I had thought that that was 3DS, but that's the face thing. Mario Clock, Inchworm Animation, which is an animation program, and then we've got, um, just a bunch of them. 
And then there's Soul of Darkness. I am in the movie. Just a bunch of them, you know. Just Rayman. There is only Rayman. <laughs> or something, I don't know. I, I don't remember what that, how that goes. How that meme goes, or whatever. Oh, and then retail only games. And then you can search for games that you can only buy at retail. Okay. Oh. That one downloaded. Azure Striker Gun Vault Striker Pack. And these all say available at your local retailer. Because you can't buy them. I mean, you cannot download them, obviously. Um, so. Um. Actually, why? Let's just go into, I don't know, this one. No. Uh, let's. Um. Yeah, whatever. Let's do this one. Wait, no. I uh, wonder why. You can download the demo, though, which is interesting. Uh, why is this... Why do you have to buy it physically? There's a website. Oh, websites. Website. Why do you have to buy this physically? Mostly for ga oh, gamers. That makes sense. I don't know why you have to buy them. Why they say physical only. Anyway, uh, we can also change the platform to virtual console. Oh, that's just all. Genre. I guess you can't search for specific consoles on Virtual Console. And there's Pokemon Crystal, English, French, Spanish, Pokemon Gold, English, Silver, Gold, Silver, 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 Spanish, French, Gold, French, Yellow, English, Blue, Spanish. There's a lot of Pokemon games. Popularity. It's probably just going to be Pokemon at the top. Yep, yellow. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, Link's Awakening, Pokemon Crystal, Super Mario Bros., Pokemon Red, Oracle of Seasons, Zelda, uh, NES, Zelda 1, Oracle of Ages. You know, you kind of get the idea. Yeah. Let's, let's do all software, but genre... Uh, let's do... Utility. That, that sounds neat. PDI check. A hundred dollars? Why is this a hundred dollars? PDI... Or PDI... PDI check. A hundred dollars. Nintendo 3DS download only. May 23rd, 2019. PDI check is an interactive puzzle multiple choice game utilizing the unique unique color 3D three-dimensional screen on the Nintendo 3DS system to quickly and accurately measure near visual ac acuity, color vision, and stereopsis. Oh, it's a medical... Is it a medical thing, I wonder? Sounds like a medical thing. Which... I appreciate the lowercase... Success... Um... Word. Reminds me of Metro. Real Metro. From Windows Phone. Now, from Windows 8. On the desktop. Anyway. Yeah, this is very much designed. Has very... Not specifically meant to be an actual game UI design. So you've got on the first one it just has four four dots four circles and four different quadrants of the screen success and some uh, character that 
is, I know it's supposed to be like a me character, but it's definitely not a me character. Um, I don't think, anyway. And then we've got four, cir four slightly smaller circles. With one circular with an opening at the top, like the power icon. And then we've got one with the opening to the right. And then on the bottom left, in the top right, we've got one with the opening on the right. And then we've also got, in the bottom right, an opening on the right. Top left is the one with the opening up. We've got several options on the bottom screen. We've got stereo, acuity, color. Apparently stereo is the one with the circ with the full circles. Acuity is with the holes in the... No. No, it's not. Never mind. Acuity is with... I guess the first thing, colors with a circle, circle with a rainbow of colors. And then there's red, green, and blue boxes. And then the most bottom most options, PDI results, raw. And then there's a thing, the last screenshot has four uh, rectangular square, rectangular quadrants with a blue circle in the top right quadrant. They're wide. Uh, wide, not square. Quadrants. And then the bottom screen says try again in large magenta text. And then on the left side, there is a, another character, presumably from someone else. Back, PDI check, publisher, PDI check, players, one player, and the next line, one. Genre, education, training, simulation, utility. Language is English. Important information, you might have to upgrade your current SD card. Displays 3D visuals, websites, PDI check. Rating information, everyone. <laughs> There's one one-star rating, one four-star rating, and five five-star ratings. Seven ratings in total. What type of person is this suited for? Everyone, 57%. What type of game is it? Casual play 57%, intense play 43%, gamers 43%. Related genres, education, training, simulation, and utility. PDI check. If that's, it would not surprise me if that's $100 because it's some, because it's a medical program. And then the top thing there's, I have no idea what that is, and then there's another character that looks distinctively not like the art style of the other characters, but more like me characters. I don't know why. Chicken Wiggle is for $15. I don't know, it could be good, but it could also not be good. I don't know. 3DS download. Uh, there's that. Anime Workshop is the next option. With two and a half stars, I think. Yeah, two and a half stars. We've got Butterfly Interim Animation 2. I am in the movie. And Calculator. Everyone needs a calculator in their lives. That's literally all of the uh, utilities. Um, back. Let's go... Other. What's in Other, I wonder? Soccer shootout, oh, for eight cents. Herald Reborn. Gives me rated M vibes, but I don't know if it is rated M. Bricks Pinball 6, how many are there? Page one out of 11, I'm not going through them all. Seems more like shovelware on that one, I wonder. Um, update? No, I'm not going to do updates. Or maybe I should. Let's see what's in updates. Other than, yeah, Fragrant Story update. Let's see, there. Mario Kart 7 update. Shovel Knight Treasure Trove update. Yokai Watch. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story 3DS. And then Minecraft New 3DS. Yokai Watch. WarioWare Gold. You know, there's quite a few here. Now let's go to all, back to all. 
publisher. We've got a ton of publishers here. That's a lot of publishers. Wow, okay. That's a tiny scroll bar. Okay, I'm gonna... Oops. I'm just gonna, like, I guess, scroll it. Oops. I'm gonna go faster if that's okay. You can pause it if you need to. Humongous, wait, is that, is that like Humongous Entertainment? No. Okay, let's go back down. Where is it? Hudson Soft. I miss Hudson Soft. Level 5 is pretty good, I've heard. Mumbo Jumbo is actually a real word, fun fact. PDI Check is actually a publisher, I guess. There's a lot in here. I guess you can skip ahead if you want to. We're almost done. Wait, why is... So it's mostly alphabetized except for Giant Software, Michael... Weir? Weir? I don't know. Ja I don't know if that's Jowney or Yowney. Mut Mutan and what was what do they have? Moonbound. Ah, I get it. Like Earthbound. Moonbound. Is, oh, it's a 2D arcade action game that forces the player to make quick decisions under pressure. The player controls an astronaut who is returning to Earth after completing a geological survey in the Beta Iridian solar system. The astronaut's ship is suddenly damaged by an explosion. The energy crystals that are used as the ship's main power source are ejected out of the ship and land on six different moons. The player must return to all of the return all of the remaining crystals to the ship to be able to return to Earth. Game features. Survive through over 30, 30 levels of challenging 2D arcade action. Encounter different enemies and environmental hazards on six moons. Two game modes, story mode and arcade mode. Four difficulty levels, easy, default, hard, and hardcore. Level selection, start a new game at any level. Mu oh, that's nice. Music player, listen to all of the game's music tracks. So we've got screenshots. Here's the first one. Looks pretty nice, the graphics. I think the ice, I really like ice. And the heads up display is on the bottom. Health, I mean lives, score. Yeah, health. And then the level that you're in, stuff like that. Oxygen, also. There's a decent amount of things there. Publisher. Yawny Mutanin? I don't know. I'm sorry. I probably messed that up really bad. One player, one player for players. Arcade action. Language is English. You might need to get a new SD card. Mild fantasy, fantasy violence. Mild language. Ready for everyone though. 
four five star ratings and one four star rating. Ratings five. It's mostly for everyone. Uh, sixty percent for everyone. Sixty percent casual play, arcade, and action. And oh, twenty twenty one. Yawny Mutanen. I I hope that's correct. At the top, it says Moonbound, 3DS download only, release date, December 16th, 2021. Alright, so, let's go back to all, and then you can actually change the price. So instead of free, you can have it, say, $20. Let's do $20 through $30. Apply. And then as you can see, this game is $25. And this one is... Um, oh, that one's... Oh, that one's actually $25. Yeah, it took a while to load. Usually $25, but now it's on sale for $2. So, you know, it does that. But actually, it's nice that it shows deals on games, too, so that you can know that you're not paying too much for it. And then you can mix and match. So maybe you want, um, maybe you want a platformer. Let me see, platformer from Nintendo for t for 20, no, for 20 to $40. There we go, 20 to $40. And then we have Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, Metroid Samus Returns, Hey Pikmin, um, Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World, uh, and then Chibi Robo Ziplash. Those are the only ones that are platformers available for twenty to forty dollars from Nintendo under all software. So let's go back now, and then the next option is wish list and then you can see the games on my wish list and you can also you can go between nintendo 3ds list and the wii u list i've got the swap note and you can also remove things here street pass me plaza dr luigi N nintendo badge arcade update nintendo badge arcade donkey kong uh donkey kong 94 97, I don't remember. 94, I think. And then Wii U. It shows Wii U games. Just... Th you can go to just Wii U games, just 3DS games. Or then the All button. You cannot view Wii U games from your wish list on the 3DS. You can only remove them. And then this menu is the same. Oh, now it says, no, there's six games on there because I added swap note. Swap note, yeah, the swap note game. I thought it was the update. But this is also a very nice song. And then we'll go back to all software information for swap note. Oops, maybe that's a little loud. You can also remove games from your wish list by doing that, but I'll keep it on there. Um, and then we can go back to the main page. And the next option, rate titles. You can rate games from here. Uh, let me see. What should I do? I'm going to do Mario and Luigi Dream Team. I already decided on this on my piece of paper on the side. Mario and Luigi Dream Team. I'm going to... Uh, at the top it says Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Publisher Nintendo. Platform Nintendo 3DS. Retail slash download. I downloaded it. Um, release date. August 11th, 2013. Rating is E10+. Plus. What gender is the person who spent the most time playing this title? I can imagine that this would be a major problem for anyone that either doesn't want to say 
or does not fit within these two boxes here. That's a major issue. Anyway, male. The two actually I should say the two options are male or female, just like the me character options. What age is the person who spent the most time playing this title? Do I do it now? I guess I do it now. Enter an age. Um I don't particularly want to divulge my age, so I will just cut this part out. I mean I I can say it, I just don't want necessarily everyone to know. It's fine. I'm 23 right now. Right now, maybe not. Right now, you know, at some point, I could probably be 23, hypothetically. Um, give this title a rating from 1 to 5 stars. Oh, I really like this music. Give this title a rating from 1 to 5 stars. I'm giving it 4 stars. I'm subtracting a star because of the bed section. If you have played this game, you know exactly what I mean. It's horrible. Who do you think this title appeals to? Um, let me see. Where is it? Um, ah, it's for gamers. What kind of play style is this title more suited to? I would say in I would say intense. It can get pretty tough because you got to manage health. Uh so we've chose for ratings we've said male 23 four stars gamers intense. I didn't know it would ask for everything all of that. I thought it would just ask for Oh, sorry. It sent. Um I hope that you could see that enough. Um, actually, I'm just going to do another one to make sure that it shows up. Um, I'll do Four Swords Anniversary Edition. This one's pretty cool. I really like this one. It's Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo DSiWare. January 30th, 2014. ESRB E10 Plus. This was only available for like a weekend. Uh, and then 23. Okay. I loved it. I would say it's for gamers, though. And intense. It's pretty intense. Submit. There we go. Submitted. Thank you for your contribution. I didn't know that it would ask for all five of those things. I thought it would only ask for the bottom three. So... I'm going to go back. Sorry about that. Turn that down. Menu. Uh, add funds. I'm going to have to put in um, my video that I... I'm going to have to put in my uh, video... My videos that I had recorded before into this part of the video right here to show you adding both money from a credit card as well as using eShop gift cards like this because I can't do it anymore. By the way, I noticed after I was done recording last time that these two eShop gift cards have both a different texture. I don't know if you can see that. See? That one's more matte. This one's more shiny. Different color. It leads to a different color in Mario's cap. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and also, there's different background objects. So, like, I don't know. I really hope that this is visible. So, like, here, there is a mushroom right here. And a coin right here. But on this... It's a block. There's a block right there. And a star right there. I will add in, I will take pictures of this with my phone if it doesn't show up properly on camera. 
but I'll, I'll definitely be doing that. But I'm going to be showing adding funds via credit card right now, or debit card, credit, cre credit card, debit card right now, removing, and, and I removed private information. And now that you're back to the video in the modern day, in the current day, I'm going to be showing you how to redeem it with a uh, redeem a Nintendo eShop gift card. Oh wait, at the top it says you must add funds before making a purchase. No, you can't use a points card to add funds. Um, I'm gonna in the current day on March 2nd, 2023, I'm gonna do a redeem a Nintendo eShop card. Oh, it still lets you do it, I guess even though it's not supposed to. Add, add funds, Nintendo eShop card, and the code on the back of the Nintendo eShop card, and then you can type in the code, but I don't have any eShop cards to type in right now, so I'm gonna show adding that. Thank you. 
Okay, now that you're back, if you don't have what you can do up until the eShop on 3DS and Wii U closes, is you can actually also merge funds via the Switch eShop. I have a few screenshots of that, uh, a few pictures of that. And you can actually add funds on the Switch eShop, and then they will show up here. So balance of 8 893 I need to add more money through the Switch eShop to buy the games that I'm going to be planning on buying to show everyone in the videos. So go back. Um but that'll be in a future part. Um and then we've got settings slash other as the last option in here. We can functions, we can redeem a download code. Uh download code, enter download code or scan QR code, that's the same as the Redeem download code option there in the menu. Uh, scan QR code. I don't have a QR code. Down here we have history, updates. Buttons, updates. It's loading. And we've got update available, Smash 3DS update version 1.1.7. So that's, I'm very glad that this is in here, that I never downloaded this so that you can see the update page. Software info. Oops, sorry. Super Smash Bros. Update version 1.1.7. Software update. Release date July 18th, 2017. This is an update. I'm just going to put that in the wish list so to remind me. This is an update for the Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS game. This download does not contain the full version of the title. In order to use this update, you must have the full version of Super Smash Bros. TM for Nintendo 3DS. Super Smash Bros. TM for Nintendo 3DS, update version 1.1.7. Publisher Nintendo, genre, update, languages English, Spanish, and French. Important information, you might now need to get a better SD card, larger one, compatible features slash accessories, Nintendo Network ID. You have to link your Nintendo Network ID and your Nintendo account together in order for the merge funds option to be available in the Switch eShop. Uh, supports online play, displays 3D visuals, supports local play, supports street pass, supports spot pass. I just remembered that there's the black outlines, you know, for the characters around in Smash 3DS to make them more visible. I found that turning those off actually makes it look way better. And I, I really like the art style of Smash 3DS. I don't know why. It just looks really nice for some reason, with the lines off. Um, or the, the lines also can change color to the team colors. So like blue, red, green, yellow, I think yellow, stuff like that. Uh, rating information, cartoon violence, comic mischief, suggestive, suggestive themes, online interactions not rated by the SRB. Rate everyone 10 and up. And then we've got related Genres, updates, really keywords, Nintendo, copyright. Oh, there's quite a few copyrights there for all the characters and stuff. Milesoft, you know, they're the last one in the list because they were the last, I think the last character reveal for the base game, I guess. I don't know. And repairs. Uh, oh, repair software. You can reinstall it. I don't know what that would do. I genuinely don't know and I'm too afraid to find out. I'm sorry. Um, so we can go back, and then down here we have account activity. Um, actually I think that's about it for now. Yeah, there's a lot, wow, there is a lot in this menu. I think I'm going to have to wait for uh, the next part of this series in order to go through the rest of the list. Uh, let me see. So I'm just going to... I'm going to do the rest of this in the next part. There's way too much here. I've been recording for a little over an hour now. So um, we're going to do account activity and then keep, just keep going. So um, goodbye for now.